And last night, to say the least, for the Raiders as he take down the Chiefs 31 to 30. Joining us now is the pride of St. Bernard's High School there in Los Angeles, Donald Penn. Hey, man, appreciate you joining us early this morning. How'd that celebration go last night? Oh, man, this is going good, man. You guys got me up early. You see my <laughs> voice a little, little deep and stuff. We, uh, we got it in last night, man. It was a much needed victory, man. We needed that one. Yeah, well deserved celebration. Before I ask you about last night's game specifically, I want to go back a couple of days, Donald, leading up to it. Because we were saying here on SportsCenter that this was a playoff elimination game for you guys because getting three and four is way better than two and five. So, what was that mentality like going into that game, knowing what was at stake? I mean, the, the whole locker room, we knew it was, it was a must win. We knew we had to go in there and handle business because, you know, if we didn't, that gap to get in the playoffs was going to be a lot, lot bigger. And Kansas City coming off another loss, we knew we had the momentum to try to, to, to get them, get them off. And you know, our, our, um, our divisions are so tough, man. So every game in our division is so important, man. Even you know, Kansas City's top, but we got Denver and San Diego. Our divisions are so tough. So every, every game is freaking important, you know. Yeah, no doubt. A lot of people said this is the toughest division in the league this year. Uh, take us through that game-winning drive because we, a lot happened there in the final few minutes. What were you guys saying in the huddles as all these plays and controversies were playing out? I mean, we were all on the same page. We were all saying, you know, everybody be your best. Nobody give up. You know, and, um, you know, a couple of times on that drive, you know, D.C. didn't get the call in. And uh, D.C. had to make some stuff happen. He, he had to, he had to uh, call some routes on his own on that drive, you know, and, and handle some stuff on his own because of te technical problems in, um, in his helmet. So some of those players were all D.C., you know, making the calls in the huddle on his own, telling the guys what routes to run and, and what things to do. You know, that just tells you how, how big of a quarterback and how, 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 how much growth he has, he has grown over these years to be able to go in there and do that and drive us down the field like that. Yeah, and of course, you know, he had the injury at the end of last season that really dashed your, your Super Bowl aspirations. Got hurt again this year, but bounced back with 417 yards last night, three touchdowns, did not throw a pick. What does this guy show you each and every week, Donald, that gives you more and more confidence with each game you play? Each game we play, we always know we got a chance to win with Derek Carr as a quarterback. We always know no matter what, no matter how much time's on the clock, no matter no matter how the game's going, we know we always have a chance to win with, with, with Derek Carr being our quarterback. And going into the game with that confidence, it makes you feel good as an offensive line because, you know, as long as I do my job and keep him keep him safe and protected, he's going to make things happen, man. He's a, he's a gunslinger, man, and I, I, I love him, man. And, you know, we love him. And, you know, that, that play right there, Crabtree, man, I mean, it was just – you don't know how, how, how good that felt when I saw the refs put their hands up for the touchdown at the end of the game because we fought so hard in that game, and we were just fighting and fighting it. You know, I got to give props to Kansas City, too, because they made it hard on us. They were, they were not giving up, man. They fought to the end, too. That was just a hard-fought game. I'm just glad we came out victorious. Hey, Donald, I got to ask you about Marshawn Lynch and the situation we saw there in the second quarter. We heard some of your comments post-game earlier here on SportsCenter, but as we've been talking all morning here. It's such a, a strange situation to see him, A, a player run off from off the field to get involved in an altercation, but also based on his relationship with a player on the opposing team. Now that you've had some time to absorb what happened, what's your take on it? Man, you know, I, I talked to Marshawn last night. We hung out last night. Um, I even talked to uh, Marcus Peters on FaceTime last night. Uh, it's all love, man. You know, we wish it didn't get to that. You know, if I would have known it was Peters, man, I would have tried to snatch him up and, and get him out of there instead of doing what I did. I ain't know it was Peters. Peters is a good friend of mine, too. And I know Peters isn't a dirty player, so if I would have saw it was him, I would have known it wasn't, he wasn't trying to do anything intentional. But my reaction was, you know, get somebody off my quarterback when I see my quarterback down. And, you know, Marshawn is his cousin, man. They're like brothers, man. They, uh, he's a good friend of mine, too. They're like brothers. And, you know, Marshawn was just trying to get his cousin and make sure his cousin was safe. Because Marshawn saw three big old linemen going after his cousin. And Marshawn knows, he knows how we get down as off his lineman. He knows how his cousin gets down. So I think he was just trying to stop, stop something from getting bigger than it was. He, he didn't know if a punch was going to get thrown or if it was going to blow up. I think he was just trying to get in there to get his cousin to the sideline, get things safe, and get his back playing. But talking to Marshawn, man, he's mad. He felt like he let the team down. Um, he's ready to bounce back. He's mad at himself. He, you know, he was just, uh, he just got caught up in the moment, man, trying to protect his cousin, man. And, you know, I wish it never happened like that, but uh, he's going to learn from it. He's going to he's gonna get back. But he, he was very hard on himself. He was very down last night. But, you know, we're we going to get it going. Yeah, emotional moment to say the least for both sides. But you guys do persevere and get a much-needed win again over the Chiefs. Now three and four on the season. Donald Penn, we appreciate the time, man. Come hang out with us again, all right? All right, thanks for having me. You guys have a good one. All right.